Hi guys, it's Declan from Saves at X Gaming. Today we're going to be discussing Death Squared for the Nintendo Switch, and if you save it to your console or delete it from your memory. Hard, stressful, irritating and mind-boggling. Four phrases are used to describe this game, but in a really good way. Death Squared is both a party game that can be played with up to four players, and a story-based game that can be played with one or two players. You can change who controls each character cube as you walk around these delightfully tricky levels. If you've ever played Portal, then this game definitely echoes vibes of that game, with a delightfully witty AI it guides you through the story mode, and laughs when you die, you'll never have a dull moment. I am going to close my eyes for just a second here. The basic aim of the game is to get the cubes on the circles. Sounds simple, right? Not always. Now, it's specifically chosen to only show footage from the start of the game, due to some potential puzzle spoilers. However, you should still see some fun little interactions, including spikes and a few traps. When your square of the correct colour gets on its circle, so it usually happens, be it spikes poking up, platforms moving, or something else. We'd love to see someone try a no death run version of this game on their first try. You'll definitely die a lot as you go through the world and levels and try and figure out what needs to be done to hit a switch or walk over a floating platform, but somehow these deaths are made fun. And in a way, they're always your fault. The world moves with you. Unlike games where an enemy will come up and attack you, if you just stand there for three hours, guess what? You'll be in the same place and no one will attack you, no lasers will shoot you. One of the fun things of this game is its unlimited replay value. You can replay each level with different people with the multiplayer. And if you're anything like me, by the time you come back to the levels, you've forgotten the solution. So it's like a brand new game. Now onto the party mode. For me, it's one of my favourite parts of this game. The ability to have a few people with a few alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverages for those who are under legal drinking age in their state or province and just play games with each other. In my opinion, party mode increases the difficulty as it expects you to be playing with more players, unlike story mode where you can only have two. It also feels a shame that we lose the AI in this mode. We don't have our fun witty commentary. You expect to do that for yourself. However, I still absolutely love this mode and its infinite replay value. Death Squared retails for $11.99 in the UK and I would highly recommend purchasing it for that price. It's also on sale until June 30th, so I recommend picking it up, even if it's not on sale. So in case you couldn't tell, this game is definitely a save to your hard drive.